This is the Storage Godfather, Calvin Zito, and on this Around the Storage Block video blog, I'm joined again by Kip Glover. Kip has done two other videos showing you how to keep your MSA firmware up to date. If you want to check those out, click on the top right hand corner of the screen and you can check them out. In this edition, Kip's going to show you how to keep your drive firmware up to date on your MSA. Kip, show us what you got. Thanks, Calvin. It is important to keep your MSA firmware up to date. Not only does running the latest firmware help you maximize your MSA availability, it also resolves issues, fixes security vulnerabilities, and delivers new features. There are three user upgradable firmware components in the MSA. First is the controller firmware. Second is the expansion module firmware. And third is the drive firmware, both SSD and HDD drives. If you remember in part one, we covered updating MSA controller firmware. In part two, we focused on the best practices for updating MSA expansion module firmware. And now in this final part three, we're gonna cover the best practices for updating drive firmware for the MSA. There are multiple ways to update drive firmware in the MSA. Drive firmware can be updated through FTP, the MSA storage management utility, SMU, or using smart components. As a best practice, it is recommended to use either Linux or Windows smart components for drive firmware updates. This session today is focused on using the smart components to update MSA drive firmware. Different from controller and expansion module firmware, MSA drive firmware updates must be performed while the MSA is offline. You might ask when should you update your drive firmware? Well, when adding or replacing drives in your MSA, or if you've been alerted of a critical or recommended drive firmware update. Let's walk through an actual drive firmware update using the Windows Smart Component. First, we need to check what drive firmware versions we are running on our MSA. Start and log into the MSA Storage Management Utility, SMU. In this example, we're using version three of the SMU interface. At the top of the screen, expand the System Menu dropdown and select Update Firmware. The Update Firmware pop-up screen appears. We first need to click on the third tab, Update Disk Drives. In the last column, you'll find the revision of each drive's firmware. In this example, all of the drives are running firmware version HP D9. The other thing to point out is column six, Drive Model Number. We'll need the drive model number to look up what the current firmware version is for the drive currently. I'll cover how to do this in just a bit. It's important to note the display can only show a maximum of 10 drives. You'll need to click the arrow in the upper right corner to view additional drives on the screen. Alternatively, from the command line interface, CLI, you can run two commands, show disk or show disk ENCL, which stands for enclosure, to view the running firmware versions and the model numbers for the drives. In a future release, there will be one CLI command that will display both the drive firmware and the model number in the same output. To locate the current MSA drive firmware, first we need to visit www.hpe.com storage slash MSA drive firmware. On this webpage, using Control F to search for the drive model number that we collected in the SMU or CLI. Once the HP model number is found in the first column, you can see the latest firmware version in the second column. Third, in the last column, you can click either of the two download links, Linux or Windows, to take you to the Smart Component download page on the HPE Support Center. It is important to note that two different model number drives may have the same firmware string, but they're actually very different firmware. A firmware string that is current for one drive might not be the current version for another drive. So it's important to check the current firmware by the drive model number. In this example, we're simulating that we need to update the firmware for drive model number EG0300FCVBF. Now that we find the model number in the matrix, we need to attain the latest firmware. In this example, we'll use the Windows Smart Component to update the drive firmware. Let's click on the Windows link for this drive. Next, we're directed to the Windows Smart Component for this drive on the HPE Support Center. The last step we need to do in this is click the download button in the lower right-hand corner to obtain the firmware. 
After the smart component has been downloaded, there are a few things to note before we start the firmware update. One, make sure we have a good backup. Two, schedule downtime where all host I.O. is stopped. Three, we launch the downloaded Windows Smart Component. In this example, we're launching the Windows Smart Component, as you can see by the .exe file extension. Four, we need to click on the Install button. Five, we need to enter the IP address of either management port on the MSA. And six here, provide the username and password of a user with a Manage role, and then click the Continue button. The Smart Component will begin and display a recommended actions pages. Click the Install button to proceed. Next, the Smart Component will begin the installation providing progress updates in the installation log text box. Once completed, you will see a green check mark and then the device flash successful messages for each drive flashed. In this example, eight drives were successfully updated to HP D9. After confirming a successful flash of all drives, you can click the close button and now all drives of the same model number will be running the new firmware. To verify, you can launch the MSA, SMU, or use the CLI to view the running drive firmware versions like we did in the beginning. Many ask how long does the drive firmware update take? The time to update does vary depending on the number of drives needing the update. This is not a parallel process. Each drive is updated sequentially, one drive at a time, to ensure array integrity. So remember, to maximize your MSA uptime and availability, it's important to keep your MSA running the latest versions of MSA firmware. Make sure to visit hpe.com slash storage slash MSA firmware. Back to you, Calvin. Great info, Kip. Thanks for sharing it with us. You can always find me on Twitter as Calvin Zito. You can find our blog at hpe.com forward slash storage forward slash blog. Until next time, thanks for joining us.